Okay, welcome to week one. This is going to be Monday. You're going to start this exercise on a Monday. The next one's going to be on Wednesday. Your last one of the week's going to be on Friday. And then you're going to start again the following Monday. Okay, if you cannot complete this series, just try your hardest. Just try and get as many reps as you can for each of these sets. And then if you can't complete it, you're just going to do the same exercise again on Wednesday. You're going to do it again on Friday. And then you're going to complete it through the next week too. Just doing day one over and over and over until you can complete day one. And then you're going to start the following week on day two. And if you can complete day two successfully, then you can go to the next day. If you can't, just keep doing day two, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, so for day one, we're going to start out with a set of two pull-ups. Okay, now, if that was hard for you, you're going to want to take a break of at least 60 seconds between reps. If 60 seconds isn't enough for you and you go to try your second set and you haven't uh, got enough juice in you and you can't get it, then you're going to want to wait at least a minute and a half. Try and keep it under two minutes for your rest periods. Okay, so just do what you can. If that's easy for you, don't worry, our final set, the fifth set, is always going to be a max set. So even if it's like, yeah, yeah, two pull-ups, big deal, you're going to burn yourself out on the last set either way. Okay, for your second set, we're going to do three pull-ups. You can wait another 60 seconds or as long as it takes, but try to keep it under two minutes. Now there's some things you're going to need to keep in mind when you're doing pull-ups. There's a few restriction factors. First is how long can you hang on the bar? Our end goal is 50 pull-ups, so you're going to be hanging on the bar long enough to be able to do 50 pull-ups. So you might want to think about doing some forearm exercises. And I'll post a video about some forearm exercises and grip strength exercises that I like to do. Another thing you'll notice as you start to do more uh, higher reps of pull-ups is you really feel it in your core. So, a strong set of abs is really going to help you be able to do a lot of pull-ups. So that's something else that uh, I'll post a video about how to do some good ab exercises. And uh, looks like it's time for our next set. Luckily for you, we're only doing two this set. And again, you've got your rest period of between 60 seconds and 2 minutes. I'm not timing it either, so just whenever I feel ready to go, that's the next one. So our next set, we're going to do another uh, two pull-ups. And then we'll be on to our final max burnout set. Let's go. You notice I don't swing up and down, bang, bang, bang. That's really bad for your shoulder joints. And also, it's really way better for your muscles if you squeeze at the top and go down slowly and up fairly slowly as well. Because then you get a lot more contraction and a lot more burn in all your muscles. Which you may not particularly like the feeling of, but that's going to give you a lot bigger muscles. So I'll post these videos uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can follow along and do your exercise. Uh, if you don't have a playground nearby, you can probably get a pretty cheap pull-up bar at, at a you know, sporting goods store, Big Five or whatever. Okay, final set. We're going to go as many as we possibly can. You want to aim for at least three. Okay, if you can get three and you're feeling like you're going to die, should still try for a fourth but three is really all you need for this uh, day one series so I'm gonna just see how many I can do let's go
are about 10. So keep that in mind. When you do Wednesday's set, you can kind of see whether I'm doing more or less. I think it'll probably be less because we'll start doing more reps for every set. Until then, see you on the next workout.